Hello Brewtubers and welcome to the Brew Shed on a Sunday the 20th of January. Um, just doing a bit of tidying up, uh, fermenter cleaning sort of thing. Last weekend I bottled my um, best bitter uh, which I brewed on the Hangouts brew day thing in late December. Bottled that, kegged my Watney's Keg Red Barrel, um, which I'm doing a grain to glass video of, but it's not quite ready yet. Um, the carbonation level was rather poor when I tried it a moment ago. So I'm just waiting for that to carb up properly. I'm um, still very, very murky though. Um, half wishing I put some sort of cleaning agent in it, but oh well, we'll see what happens with that. And I casks, casked an ESB, uh, the Fuller's ESB from the um, Graham Wheeler Brew Your Own British Ale book from Camera, something like that. So yeah, it's quite a busy weekend last weekend. Um, so that meant I had three fermenters. Which needed cleaning and they have been cleaned today so uh, yes I now need to brew. haven't brewed this year yet so I really need to get on and do something. Um, my new brewing system the Hopcat 50 litre thingy um, should be arriving next week hopefully or the week after. Um, the vessel, the ship they are being transported from China on, has landed in Southampton and they should be with the distributors, whoever they are, on Tuesday who then send it out. So hopefully by the end of this week coming I'll have it. And I've got a free weekend next weekend so I can brew. Don't know what I want to brew though. Um, this is a problem. Possibly some sort of Victorian mild. Um, possibly not. Did think about doing, about uh, doing the um, Irish Red Ale from the Bible, because that was the first beer I brewed in the Bulldog Brewer, so it would be quite a fitting tribute for the first beer I brewed in the new system to be the same beer I brewed in that. Um, although, seeing as I can brew twice as much, uh, what I might do is split the batch in half, um, twenty liters in each fermenter. I do one with a simple ale yeast, um, SO4 or something similar, and the other one do a Belgian yeast strain, um, which I did when I first brewed it, way back when, when I first got the Bulldog. So, might do that. Also fancy doing the Peter's beer, uh, or the Patra's beer from the Bible again. Um, that's a smash beer, um, Pilsner malt. And then Saz hops, and some sort of Belgian yeast strain to give it a lovely sort of fruity, estery sort of taste. Um, so do all that. Um, yeah, so it's, it's a toss up between those two. Probably the red ale, but I don't know. I'll make my mind up when I get to it. Um, drinking at the moment. This is the Galaxy Stout. Still very weird and unusual, but tasty nevertheless. Very thick. And might have a bottle or something else in a minute. Got a um, rhubarb, I think it's rhubarb, the rhubarb and custard wheat beer, my Anno Secunda. I think I've got a couple of bottles of that down there. It looks like I've got two in plastic bottles as well, so I might send them out of beer mails. I've got a couple of beer mails ready to, well, nearly ready to go out, just sort of slowly filling them up. Um, so, yeah, life's going pretty well. Need to brew again, but as I said, I haven't had the need to. Still got most of the beers left over from the Dark Side Beer Festival a couple of weeks ago. A couple of months ago now. That was um, November, the something or other. Last Saturday of November, whenever that was. So, yes, I've only finished one of the cakes of that, and that was the um, Munich Dunkel. Which was, it was interesting, it was different. Don't think I brew it again, mind, but it was certainly worth trying. Um, thinking obviously now to the future, 
about the um, summer beer festival. So, <laughs> yes, planning that already. Um, limoncello wheat beer and pina colada wheat beer definitely going to be put on. The limoncello was so popular last time that um, it's got to make a repeat visit. And the Pina Colada Wheat Beer never really got that much um, exposure at any beer festival, so um, that's going to have a chance to uh, to get out there. And then I'll probably do some sort of lager. Um, whether I sort of half fancy doing a hoppy lager with them, um, uh, Mandarin Bavaria hops, and then just do a simple plain pills and thing. Uh, so I might do two lagers for that, two wheat beers. Um, possibly might do a cask of something. My only problem is obviously during the summer, if it's anything like the summer we had last year, is keeping it at the right temperature. Um, not so bad for the kegs because um, I've got the um, the keyser, so I've got four taps on the keyser, and I've got the two tapped Kilner calling beer dispenser thing that everyone saw at the London Craft Beer Festival. So I can do six kegs and have cool beer, um, but casks slightly more complicated. I have no cask cooling system. Um, I was half wondering whether I could turn one of these into a, a cask, as it were. So um, see if it takes any sort of pressure at all. Put some sort of um, cork in the top put some sort of cork in the top, let it cast condition and then serve it out the tap of the bottom. It's possible, I mean, I, I'm sure it's possible, but I might have a test run, see if it works or not. But Because, you know, I've just got the cooling jacket so I can cool the beer down, so set it at 13, 14 degrees Celsius, whatever it might be, and um, yeah, as long as, as long as I can get a pressurised seal and it doesn't leak, I think it's entirely possible. We're just sort of re-fermenting it. Hmm. We'll see, we'll see. I might give it a test run beforehand. Other than that, um, birthday in a couple of weeks' time, so I'm having a few friends over. Um, the Fuller's ESB will be on cask, uh, the clone. And the Watney's Keg Rear Barrel will also be available, so uh, that should be good. Also, my best bitter is conditioning still. It's a bit cold in here, so I've got the fan heater, which has very coincidentally just started, as you can hear. I've got the, <laughs> the fan heater going on in here, just to try and raise the temperature a little bit, so it conditions the beer. Um, but yes... Other than that, I'll hopefully do a grain to glass either next week or the week following of the Watney's Keg Red Barrel. Um, and there might be a brew day video coming up next weekend, so we'll see what happens with that. Um, yes, anyway, I've been rambling on for far too long. So I shall see you all again soon for one of these lovely videos, I'm sure. Au revoir.